<clears throat> ADHD is not an attention disorder, it's a blindness to the future. It is a myopia to the impending future events. You are nearsighted in time, which means that the child and adult with ADHD are going to wait until the future is imminent. And then they will try to deal with it. But as long as the future stays out there, I don't have to deal with that. The closer it gets, the more I'm going to organize toward it. But I can't really do much about it until it's the 11th hour. And then I will race around, try to slap things together in a hapdash manner to get it done. ADHD creates a nearsightedness to time so that the person with the disorder cannot organize to the delayed future, but only to the imminent future. And so everything in life becomes a crisis. But the crisis was avoidable, and no one has any patience with this, because they see this as a moral failing. You could have chosen to get ready, but you didn't. It is phrased as a form of laziness. This layabout, ne'er-do-well, carefree, careless attitude that you could change if you wanted to, right? But we know it as the executive failure it really is. This disorder precludes you from organizing across time. So you live in the moment, and you cannot organize very large, hierarchically sequenced behavior across time. It means that future-directed behavior is intentional behavior, which means ADD is actually IDD, intention deficit disorder. I don't seem to be able to accomplish most of the things I intended to do. You can call that a short attention span, but I think intention deficit disorder captures it much better. Now, the frontal lobes, the executive system is where you take what you know, and you apply it in your daily life. It is not where you know something. It is where you use what you know. The back part of the brain acquires knowledge. The front, front part of the brain puts it in play. ADHD has separated these two like a meat cleaver. So it really doesn't matter what you know. You can't use it as effectively as other people can. ADHD is a performance disorder. You can't perform the things you know how to do. It is not a knowledge disorder. Most people with ADHD know about as much as anybody else from their neighborhood with their education in that school at that age, but they can't use it, not to anywhere near the degree of effectiveness of others. So people with ADHD know what to do, but they can't do what they know. One of the things we have known in neuropsychology is that if you wish to treat an executive disorder, a performance disorder, the only way to treat it is to change the point of performance. The point of performance is the place out there in life where you should be using this knowledge. And for some reason, you can't seem to do it. So all treatment must be at the point of performance. And if it's not, it won't work. No amount of treatment done away from that place will solve that problem. Only changing that place will solve that problem. You have to restructure the environment to help them show what they know. So what does this mean? It means that teaching skills is a waste of time because they won't be used. Skills are knowledge, and these people already have most of the skills anyway. But even if you teach them new ones, the likelihood that they will get implemented is pretty slim. I can hand any adult a list of time management recommendations, and I can guarantee you that most of them will never get used. In fact, the paper will be lost on the way home because it will blow up <laughs> under the front seat of the car, and then you'll forget that it's there. Or if you do remember that it's there, you'll tape it to the refrigerator, but you won't look at it. And if you do, you'll say, you know, I really should be doing those things. These are really cool things. This is what I really need help with. And then you'll just go about behaving impulsively anyway, and you'll come back in and say, you know, Dr. Barkley, those were great ideas. Did you do them? Well, I'm working on it. Boy, I find that hard to do. You see what I'm talking about? This is not a knowledge disorder. It never was. It's a problem with using what you know. And no sheet of paper corrects for a performance disorder.